Welcome to Wiki Code Quickies, your weekly updates for coding news, tricks and tips, and much more. And in today's episode, we're going to talk about Next.js. What is Next.js? I'm your host, Norbert BM, and let's jump into it. So what is Next.js? Next.js is a popular open source React framework developed by Vercel that enhances the capabilities of React by providing additional features and optimizations out of the box. It is designed to enable server-side rendering and static-side generation. Now remember, SSR and SSG. Among the powerful functionalities, making it an excellent choice for building high-performance and SEO-friendly web applications, Next.js is the right choice. Here are some key aspects or key features of Next.js. Server-side rendering, short SSR. Next.js can pre-render pages on the server at quest time. This means that HTML generated on the server for each request, which improves initial load time and SEO, since search engines can crawl fully rendered pages. Static site generation. Next.js can pre-render pages at build time, resulting in static HTML files. This is ideal for pages that can be generated once and served across multiple requests, offering excellent performance and scalability, of course. Client-side rendering, or CSR. While Next.js emphasizes SSR and SSG, it also supports traditional client-side rendering, allowing developers to choose the most appropriate rendering method for each part of their application, API routes. Next.js provides a way to create API endpoints within the application. This means you can handle backend logic like form submission and database queries without needing a separate server. File-based routing. Routing in Next.js is based on the file system. Each file in the page directory automatically becomes a route, simplifying navigation and routing setup. Automatic code splitting. Now this is excellent because Next.js automatically splits the code for each page which means only one necessary JavaScript for the page being visited is loaded. This leads to faster load times and improved performance. Incremented Static Regeneration, or ISR. ISR allows you to update static content after the build time by re-rendering static pages in the background as traffic comes in. This combines the benefits of SSG and dynamic content updates. And now to my favorite part, built-in CSS and SAS support. Next.js comes with built-in support for CSS and SAS, allowing you to import CSS files directly into your components and pages. Now, what are the benefits of actually using Next.js? First of all, improved performance. With SSR and SSG, Next.js can significantly improve the performance of the web applications by reducing initial load times and improving Perceived performance. Enhance SEO. Pre-rendering pages on the server ensures that search engines can crawl and index the content efficiently, leading to a enhanced SEO. And of course, in, with SSR and SSG, Next.js can significantly improve the performance of the web applications by reducing initial load time and improving perceived performance. And of course, it improves the developer experience. Next.js simplifies many complex aspects of React development, such as routing, which we know how complicated it can get, especially with more and more updates to the routing system, code splitting and configurations, leading to a more streamlined and productive development experience. Also, Next.js has great flexibility. Next.js provides a flexible approach to rendering, allowing developers to choose between SSR, SSG, CSR, and ISR based on the needs of their application, of course. Now, at the end of the day, scalability is one of the most important benefits for using Next.js. With features like static side generation and incremental static generation, Next.js applications can ease scale to handle high traffic, SEO, and performance. So what are the use cases of Next.js? Where can you actually apply Next.js? Because you won't just apply it to anything. You also use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript for most of simple website and also use React for more simple web application. But where when SEO and performance is critical, then you should 
and use Next.js for things like e-commerce, blogs, or marketing pages. Now, blogs, I mean, do mean more enhanced blogs, not just written blogs with video or audio. You can also implement then podcasts in your blogs and so forth and so on. Because complex applications, for example, applications that can benefit from a mix of SSR and SSG and S and CSR, of course, will significantly show the difference between using Next.js and anything else. It is also quick to set up when you want to start with sensible defaults and reduce the configuration order, then use Next.js. Also API integration, when you need to server side capabilities without setting up a separate backend. And of course, API integration, when you need server side capabilities without setting up a separate backend server. So in conclusion, Next.js does extend the capabilities of React by providing features that enhance performance, SEO, and overall development experience. It is a versatile framework that supports various rendering methods and simplifies many aspects of web development, making it an excellent choice for modern web applications. So with this being said, thanks for much for watching. I'm Nobert PM, wishing you a happy day. Love you all. Happy coding. Catch you later. Bye-bye.